Okay, so one of the elements that I want to put in here is sort of like, I want to put in like a seed library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a piece of paper that is five and a half by eight. And at two and three quarters, which is the midpoint, I'm going to score this piece. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold it in half making sure that my corners line up nice. And I'm just going to go <clears throat> down that with my bone folder. I'm really going to kind of tighten that up, okay? All right, so once I have cut this down, I'm going to be cutting out some squares. Um, they're going to be three inches by two and a half, okay? So I'm just going to cut some three inch strips. We're going to hold on to this because we may use that for something else. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all cut out. And once I have them all cut out, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of these done, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be scoring these, and I'm going to put them in to my scoreboard on the 3 inch side, and I'm going to score them at 3 eighths of an inch on both sides. And then on the 3 inch side, I'm just going to turn it, and I'm going to score that at 3 eighths of an inch on one side, okay? So you are scoring at 3 eighths of an inch. Turn it, three-eighths of an inch, turn it, three-eighths of an inch, and you're done. Okay, so I'm going to get all of these scored, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have um, six of each of the three colors that I'm using, and my measurements are based on a die cut file folder, okay? Um, I want this file folder to sit in here pretty close to perfect because I want it to look like that from the outside. So um, I cut them so that my file folder would be two inches deep and just a little bit more than the two inches wide because from this tab to the corners about two inches and this is two inches across so I measured these to work for the file folder that I was going to be using if you're making a different file folder of course you'd have to do it your way or you could just put a card in here it's up to you entirely so now that I have these what I'm going to be doing is taking um, my one inch punch and I'm just going to be kind of nipping out a little bit here at the top and I'm going to do these probably two at a time And I'm just going to make sure that I'm centered. And I'm going to just take a little piece out. And just to make sure that I get them all straight, I'm going to use one as my guide for the rest of them. All right, so we've nipped out all of our little top circles. And the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting these um, just across the corner here just to reduce some of the bulk. And we're going to be doing just a little snip from the score line at an angle out on each one of the top pieces. So we want a piece that looks a bit like that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get these all trimmed up. Okay, when you're done with this process, you have one big mess to clean up. So let me get all these little pieces. And we will get rid of them. All right. So now I have all of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, fold these back 
and I'm going to hit them with my bone folder just to make sure I've got them nice and tight and just nice even lines and get them all ready to get put into my book and I will be right back. Okay, in order for this process to work, there's something very important you need to make sure and that is that this card is about the size of the paper that you plan on using or smaller. Can't be bigger. It has to be smaller. So that's about where I would put my paper inside there as far as top and bottom. So I think it's going to work just fine. Now I can work on the inside or I can work on the outside. It's entirely up to me. I think that I want to do one on the outside and one on the inside. So I'm going to do one here and then I'm going to do one here and then I will leave the back parts open for other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of decide the order in which I like these to go. So I like the dark one and then the medium one I think is a good plan. And then the light one. And then I think I'm going to repeat that process. And I kind of like the way this looks, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, you can use whatever adhesive you want. Personally, I will not use tape for this, double-sided tape, because double-sided tape doesn't dry and I live in the desert. And here, if it gets hot, it gets gooey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this and I've cut these so that I actually have space. But I want to make sure that this first one goes on in such a way that my card doesn't exceed my paper. So I'm going to kind of use my card, my file folder, to line this up where I want it. And I like it right about here. Now nobody is going to see this okay because it's going to be covered so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a pencil and I'm just going to put a very faint line here that's where the bottom of this one is going to go and that's how I'm going to figure out my starting point so art get a litter glue on the flaps And then I'm going to line this up in my pencil line. And then I'm going to build from here. Okay. So the next one, again, I'm going to take my bone folder. I'm going to press my folds nice, get these all pressed well, glue, and depending upon how large your card is, you know, your the insert that you're putting in, you may or may not, you know, go an inch or a half inch or whatever you're going to go. Um, mine needs to be right about there so I know I've got to come down about an inch from this pocket so I want to make sure that I line up my sides I want to come down about an inch and put my next one in and I'm just going to continue this all the way down and then I'm going to do it on the inside here okay Okay, so I have completed this side and what I'm going to do now is just check my fit. I have one of my file folders here and so I'm just going to kind of put that in to make sure that it goes to my pocket and more importantly that I can get it into all of my pockets all the way down because it would look weird if you had one that was just kind of hanging out. Now see this one I can't get it to go down all the way. So I probably have a glue issue. So what I'm going to do is just take a, a ruler. I'm just going to go down and make sure that I can get all the way to the bottom of that pocket.
there we go. Now I can use my little file folders in here, or I can use the small cut aparts because they certainly fit into all of the pockets that I cut. And now I'm going to repeat this process on the inside. And I'm actually going to space these out a little bit more um, just so that it has a little bit different of a look. I'm going to bring them probably about three quarters of an inch down. So there'll be about that much of the other pocket showing. Um, I may not get as many pockets in there, but at least it'll have a little bit different of a look. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and then I'll be back. So I have all the little pockets in and I have it sitting over there waiting to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one for now. And we'll be back on the next one where we will be working on the book cover and covering it and doing the inside. So till the next time, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that red button and subscribe for me, like me, share me, um, ring my bell. Till the next time, guys. Bye-bye.